Every innovation is a combination of other insights and innovations. What do you get if you combine heavy presses for crushing grapes and olives? The oil-based ink of avant-garde painters? The skill of goldsmiths to carve punches for coins? And a little inspiration from China? What you get is modern science, newspapers, novels, textbooks, the Reformation and the Enlightenment. Because what I just mentioned are the basic ingredients that Johannes Gutenberg from Mainz, Germany used in the mid-15th century to build one of history's most revolutionary devices, the printing press. When A&E Network hosted a People of the Millennium Countdown in 1999, Gutenberg took first place because of his movable types, onto which he applied ink and then pressed hard against damp paper. His invention also required a goldsmith's skill to mass-produce durable metal type. So durable that the press could print hundreds of times, and yet so flexible that the type could be broken up and rearranged to print the next page. This completely revolutionized the ability to spread ideas. Before Gutenberg invented the printing press, it took a scribe more than a year to hand copy a Bible. Now they could be mass produced quickly and the price of books collapsed. Before the printing press, a handwritten book cost around six months wages. After the printing press, it cost closer to six days wages. By the early 17th century, it didn't cost more than six hours wages. More books were published in the first century after the invention than had ever been hand copied in Europe. As Gita Trilis writes in the novel All That Glitters, a printing press took the thoughts from someone's mind and inked them onto a piece of paper anyone might read. It was a kind of magic, a magic to alter the world. Indeed it was. The printing press made Europe literate and it created an atmosphere of debate and discovery that unleashed the Enlightenment and the scientific revolution and the incredible advances in human living standards since then. And, obviously, lots of angry debate. Among the most popular first print runs were pre-packaged papal indulgences, expensive forgiveness for one's sins. And even more popular were condemnations of these indulgences by a certain priest from Wittenberg named Martin Luther. Without Gutenberg's printing press, I would not have written my own books, but perhaps even more magical, the printing press made it possible to print royalty checks to authors. Hey, check out these other great videos from Free to Choose Network. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updated on episodes of New and Improved with me, Johan Norberg.